It's just my girlfriend. <laughs> what did she say to me? What the f Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 see you guys there I was just making sure there was nothing up, up, up in the clouds in the sky so how's it going everyone it's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today this is gonna be my uh, newest episode of my AK after I saw review se review series for 2022 which for this new for this episode for this uh, for the series is a movie they just came out just a, a couple weeks ago in the UK where this one came out uh, a month ago in um, in the US and this movie was one of my most anticipated movies of the entire year, alongside other movies I was really high for this year, that which I've already reviewed most of them, which include which include the Batman, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Top Gun Maverick, and a whole bunch of other movies I was really high for this year. And uh, for this movie, I really wanted to review this film the day I saw the film, uh, but I was really busy outside of making videos. Like I was busy with my job as well as with my family and all that. And plus, last week was really busy for me because it was my it was it was my birthday as well as a few other family members' birthdays and all that. And I was seeing some other stuff at the time, but since I'm off work and I have nothing really else planned to do, I should get this review over and done with. So today's review is going to be my review on the 2022 science fiction horror film, and this is going to be my review on... Nope. <laughs> okay, so Nope. Uh, this was written, co-produced, and directed by Jordan Peele, and uh, this is a, a new, different horror film he's made from his filmography, which of course for his... His other two um, horror films were, which were of course Get Out and Us, which two of them I thought I think they are phenomenal work, piece of work for the horror genre. Which for those films they were completely different horror films. Like Get Out was a psychological horror film, and Us was a slash of horror film. And so this one, like I said, is a sci-fi horror film. And the story of the film is that we follow two siblings named O.J. and Emerald, played by uh, Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer, and they live in a Hollywood ranch in sort of like a Western world. And uh, they and they have horses in their ranch, and for their horses, they've been used for like stunts and stuff like Hollywood movies and commercials. And what ends up happening later on in the movie is that there's something very strange above in the up in the sky through the clouds. There's an unidentified object that's flying above them in the clouds, and it's not only happened to these two characters; it's also happened to a bunch of other characters in this movie. Like you've got one who runs sort of like a theme park attraction world the one who's a filmmaker and the other who's a, a store clerk who works at um a who works at a store in, which is a fry which is known as fries and um for these characters they're trying to capture on camera and try to figure out what this object is in the clouds that's flying above them and while throughout the whole film we see that happening while we see a bunch of horrifying bizarre crazy stuff in this movie so that's pretty much the story of nope now like i said before this movie was one of my most anticipated movies of the entire year alongside other movies i was really hyped for this year like the batman everything everywhere all at once top gun maverick and a whole bunch of other movies i was really hyped for this year and for jordan peele's last two horror films which he made which were of course get out and us i think both of them are just phenomenal piece of work he's done for the horror genre and I think he has indeed become an awesome horror director because he knows how to direct horror. Like, um, you know, for Get Out, that movie, like I said, it's just a phenomenal piece of work he's done for the horror genre. It's my favorite horror film of 2017, uh, one of my favorite horror films of the last decade, and even my favorite movie of 2017, even though I did not get a chance to see that in the cinemas when it was first released, but I really wanted to see it since I started hearing a lot of people talking about this movie all over the internet. But I did manage to watch the movie before I saw... Jordan Peele's next movie, Us, which I did see that in the cinemas and uh, back in 2019, and I thought that movie was awesome. It was an awesome slasher film, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite horror film in 2019, though, but it was still an awesome movie, though. And so for when it came to this movie, of course, I was really excited for this movie because, like I said, this one's a totally different horror film because, you know, for Jordan Peele's other um, horror films, you know, um, Get Out was a psychological film and a psychological horror film, and Us was a horror slasher film. 
and like I said, this one is a sci-fi horror film. I was re and and I was really excited to see what Jordan Peele can do for this kind of horror film. And for Daniel Kaluuya, who has worked with him, Jordan Peele on Get Out, which for these two guys, you know, for what they created in that film, that you know, they just created, you know, a phenomenal piece of work. And I was really excited to see what they can do that, what they can do for this movie though, since for what they, what they, because like I said, what they've done together with Get Out, you know, like I said, they just created, you know, an, a phenomenal piece of work for the horror genre. And uh, for Kiki Palmer, who was in this movie, um, I was really intrigued to see what she can do for this movie because I enjoyed her. I liked her in Hustlers, and I even liked her in Lightyear as well. And um, you and for other actors, actors in the movie, I wasn't that familiar with, but I was pretty intrigued to see what they can do for this movie. And when the trailers drove by on the internet, of course, I was really pumped for this movie. And this movie was originally scheduled for a release in July in the UK, but then it got shifted to August and all that, which kind of which I kind of found that a bit disappointing for me because I was I was hoping to see this in July, but then they pushed it to August and all that. But still, though, I was still excited for the movie, though. Every time when the trailers dropped by for what other movie I was seeing at the time. And so I went to see this on the 12th of August, which was opening day in the UK. And there wasn't that much people on my screening, but there was quite a few people on my screening who, I guess, were, like me, were really excited for this movie. And after walking out of this movie, I can definitely say that this movie did not disappoint me here, you guys, because this movie was Awesome. I had a blast with No from beginning to end. But I wouldn't say this is Jordan Peele's best film since Get Out. I could still say this was an awesome piece of work for the horror genre because, like I said, I had a blast with this film from beginning to end. Like, there's so many things to like in this film. Like, the cast in this film, everyone was absolutely incredible in this film. Like, Daniel Kalia was once again incredible in this movie since Get Out. And I like what he was given for his character because, as for his character, he plays out like more of a serious character in this film because he's kind of mostly like a soft, quiet like silent person really in this film he doesn't have like wisecracking moments in this film but for what Daniel Kalia was given for his character I thought he completely he just completely kicked it out of the park here you guys and ever since I started seeing him in other movies outside of Get Out I think he has indeed become an incredible actor because he's given so many other incredible performances like in Queen and Slim, Black Panther and Judas and the Black Messiah and Kiki Palmer, who plays Emerald, she's the biggest show stealer here in this movie, you guys. She was terrific in the film, and I can, de I can definitely say this is uh, Kiki Palmer's best role out of a career being, you know, an actress because she shines so well on screen. And for every scene she's in, she just steals every scene in this movie because she's, she's really funny, and I just really liked her throughout this whole movie. And the chemistry between her and uh, Kaluuya was great in this film because they shine so well together on screen since they play brothers and sisters. And as for other performances, everyone else were all great. And the direction by Jordan Peele, it's a gorgeous looking film for the whole location shooting in the film. Because it's set in like in a deserted western ranch area and all that. And there are times where it cuts to like this whole theme park attraction world and all that in the same area. Which for those scenes, they were directed so well done by Jordan Peele. And for the scenes where it's at night time, it looks absolutely beautiful. Like the cinematography used for those scenes looks absolutely beautiful. And for those shots, it just looks like those kind of those kind of shots that will be saved into your background, like your background saver, like for your computer or your phone and all that. It just kind of it just kind of reminded me of that. And the whole genre and this movie has a few genre combinations in this film like it has uh, it it had like it has like three genres that's been combined together in this film like it's it has science fiction to it it has horror to it and it has comedy to it which for all that combination in this film and what Jordan Peele did for this movie for combining all that together for this movie I thought worked really well here you guys like I like the whole I like the sci-fi aspect of the film well it doesn't flat out go for a sci-fi aspect for this whole film and just don't go into don't go into this film to expect you know a sci-fi film or anything like that because again this is a it has because this film does tend to focus a bit on horror and all that which I that's what I come to expect because I like because you know Jordan Peele knows how to direct horror since he did um Get Out and Us and for the whole the whole um horror aspect of the film I really enjoy throughout this whole film well there isn't that much other horror aspects of this film because there's it kind of focuses on two horror aspects in this film like it focuses on suspense and terror and all that which I really dug those aspects in this film and for the comedy aspect of the film you know Jordan Peele he did add some of them to his last two films you know Get Out and Us which I enjoyed those those aspects in the film because they were generally really funny and for having that all over again in this film I thought was really funny it's mostly like some it's mostly like mostly to a Kiki Palmer stealing every scene that stealing every scene she's in because again she is really funny in this movie and some of the characters they do provide some like one-liners and jokes in this film and um the whole concept of 
the whole concept for this film, it does have some similarities to like some iconic masterpieces, like say, mostly Steven Spielberg films, like say, Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which, you know, for Jaws, it's it was well known for, you know, being a horror film in the water, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind is known for, you know, being a sci-fi film of alien UFOs and all that. And to me, this film kind of feels, just kind of feels like that to me. It's like Jaws meets Close Encounters of the Third Kind, except, like, for Jaws, it has, it has something to do with, um, like the clouds in the sky and for Close Encounters of the Third Kind it has something to do like a UFO in the sky and all that. And another con other um con uh, another similarity another similarity I guess this fi this film has it has a little bit of sprinkling to Tremors and all that because for Tremors it was set in sort of like in a uh, a west like sort of a re a western ranch area and all that. It kind of reminds me of that. But despite having similarities to those films um it's it this movie t still tends to have some originality to it like because you know, because you know, Jordan Peele, he's such a genius for writing, for having his, having his his you know originality to his movies and all of that. While there are times in the film it does get a little bit confusing for his, from his originality writing talent, I, it nearly confused me a bit. But I soon started to understand what was going on in the film and all that. Because there are times in the film where it cuts to like say some character's backstory, like this one character character's backstory where it's where it's something to do with a sitcom and all that which i won't say what happened but for what happened it was totally insane and all that because again this movie is just genuinely insane for what the hell was going on in this film and uh, the movie's really well paced too since this movie's only two hours and it's only it's a two and a, it's a two hour film it's like two two hours and 12 minute film and so, something like that uh, it's pretty longer than jordan peele's last two films um while the third act in the film, it's kind of pretty much pretty. It's kind of ever since the, this film was first rele was released, pretty much some people kind of divided it with the third and final act in the film. I wasn't one of them because for me, when that whole third act was happening, I was enjoying the hell out of that. It it really got me hooked and really and it really got me hooked and it really got me on the edge of my seat for what was happening. And for other other writing moments from Jordan Peele's genius writing. Outside of like the whole sci-fi horror aspect of the film, it has a like, it has some moments where where some characters do start to build like obsession and all that, which I really like because so, for some of the films that has something to do with obsession and all that, I was it really gets me hooked for what was going for what's going on for those moments in those in those movies, and this film has a bit of met metaphor to it for like. Uh, filmmaking all that and it just kind of feels like a love led to filmmaking and all that which for the scene now on the sc in, on the big screen I was generally I was generally hooked for that for that moment in this film and the only um, nitpick I only have with this film is there are some times in the film where it does get a little bit pre pretty much predictable really for like what, what was going to happen in the film but in the end guys nope it generally got me it uh, it generally met my expectations and again it was really an awesome experience for me from beginning to end despite having one little nitpick with this film i still managed to have an absolute blast in this film well i wouldn't say that and like i said this is definitely not jordan peele's best film he's ever since get out but if you're if you are a fan of get out or us or if you're a fan of the cast like daniel kaluuya or kiki palmer or if you're a fan of like sci-fi horror films or anything like that or any of inspiration from this film you'll definitely have an absolute blast with this one if you if you're destined to see this on the big screen definitely get a ticket for this one because you're Definitely, like I said, you will generally have an absolute blast with this one like I did. I'm going to give Nope four and a half out of five. Yep, this movie just gave me exactly what I wanted. It met with my expectations. Despite having one little nitpick with this one, I still had an absolute blast with this one. And, and like I said, this is definitely not Jordan Peele's best film since Get Out. I can still say this is one of, it still is one of his best works, but it's just not one of his it's de it's definitely not his number one best though. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching for my AK After a Saw review on Nope. And let me know what you think of this movie. If you've just recently seen this film or if you've already seen this film, did you have an absolute blast with this? Or were you majorly disappointed with this? So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this is Ben Fogg's Media Corner, signing off.